Good day, folks. Welcome back to my neck of the woods. My name is Dika, where I share my experience, my knowledge, hoping to lessen your learning curve. So today I am going to talk about some soft plastic baits that, in my opinion, are worth trying. Um, I'm not going to tell people that they're the best or, you know, this one's better than another one. But you have to make your own decisions and you have to hold your own confidence in your own bait. But these are some of my sort of top ones, soft plastics anyway, that are definitely worth trying. And I'm going to tell you how I use them and um, how much they cost and go from there. So before I get started, please sub my channel, like my videos, and make some comments, all right? So without any further ado, I have got a couple of them in here. The Huddleston Grass Minnow. It is a... Um, I'm not going to go over the weights or anything like that. It is a very versatile bait, and it has um, all, all it is. This is just a straight retrieve, and you can see in this one that the hook is hidden right in there. Uh, sometimes you do lose um, some fish to hook setting, but these all, all these baits that I'm going to talk about for the most part are used to get into those areas that a traditional bait won't go through because it's really weedy or it's mucky or it's lily pads or something like that and a lot of these you can sort of slow roll in there so th this is the Huddleston grass minnow it has this sort of signature tail on it and all it does is it's a, it's a straight retrieve you throw it into some pads or some weeds or whatnot it's not going to get caught up the um, hook is right in there and it is weighted a little bit you know here's a different color the blue one, what other colors do I have here? Not this one. You know, I got a bunch of them. And it's a great bait. It's a great bait. It's a straight retrieve. And all you're going to do is you're just going to get that little tail wobble. And uh, it, it, it looks exactly like a fish. It swims exactly like a fish. And um, it's going to catch fish. So that's the Huddleston Grass Minnow. That's that one. Next is the Stanley Ribbit frog now this is a top water bait but it's a sinking so it, it it's a sinking bait um what i would do is i just sort of almost like texas rig it in, rig it in here um extra wide gap hook and there's a little ridge in the top like that and you have it seated in there i have a video on my channel if, on how to rig it if, if you want to watch that um in fact i can put it up and up in the um side here if you if you um so be um so uh the stanley ribbit this is, uh, I use it top water, but if you get all those pads or those mats or something like that, that, you know, you really can't get in there and you fish it, you throw this and you got it. The, the hard part about this, and it's not even a hard part, you got different colors here too. So oh, here's one that's rigged. You know, so I have the hook right here and um, comes right in like that. Um, is you have to keep a certain cadence with this. So it, it has these sort of kicking legs and uh, it'll make like a little plopping noise, plop, 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 plop across the top of the water and uh, that it, it, it's a killer bait it really is and a lot of times uh, they'll short strike it right they'll they'll go at it and there'll be a blow up what you do is you just kind of leave it alone and it's not like a normal top water like a like a live target frog or those soft body frogs you let it let it go and it will slowly sink and then a lot of times that bass will come back for it you know they, they think they've wounded it or whatnot and um, there's so many times we use follow-up baits but uh, this, this is kind of like its own follow-up bait. All right, so that's the Stanley Ribbit. Um, I like the white ones. I like these sort of green with the red flake. Um, this is another light green. Um, they have painted ones too. You know, painted frogs are useless in my opinion because all you see is the bottom. Um, the fish do not see the top. So all those beautiful like live target frogs that are out there that have wonderful paint jobs they're all useless because the only thing the fish sees is the top i mean the bottom excuse me they don't see the top because it's above the water all right so I got stanley rabbits in there third i don't know how many i got so three four five i think i got six six soft plastics that are worth trying is the zoom uh salty super fluke it's, it's a killer bait. Um, I like to use it sometimes on a donkey rig. Uh, if you don't know what a donkey rig is, um, I don't think I have a video on a donkey rig. Um, a donkey rig is really good. Uh, I like these. And basically, a donkey rig is um, one line with a swivel on it attached to another line. And then the two will just, they'll sort of dance back and forth. And I never get tangled either. And 
you know, but this is a good one. You can use that sort of same rig that I have here on the ribbit. And you can just throw this into the, the nastiest muck and whatnot, and it's going to catch those fish. It's going to bring those fish out. You know, and I, I like the chartreuse tail, but the super fluke has, as opposed to other flukes on the market, um, like this fluke, it's got, oh, sorry, can't keep track of it. It's got this tiny little tail here, or even, you know, this is like a, a Yamamaru one. It's got that little tail. The salty super fluke has this little bit of a tail, and I think it gives just that little bit of action that uh, the fish want to come in and they want to grab it. All right, so the salty super fluke, I actually have a bag right here. This is the pearl white with the chartreuse tail. This is my favorite one, um, but that's that. Sorry. Right. So what else do we got? All right, we have the Gambler Big Easy. This is a very large paddle tail, multiple colors, a strong straw gar garlic smell. I don't know what the attraction with garlic is. It, the Gambler Big Easy comes in so many colors. Oh, that's kind of the same color, isn't it? But there's another one right here. There's white ones too. All right, so the Gambler Big Easy. It is, it's a large paddle tail, but it has a really, really soft body. And it has a spot to hide a hook in there. I find it best, um, like I said, sort of slow rolling it through those lily pads or even right up top. A good cadence right up top. It just It'll give a little bit of a wake. Um, I find it best to use like a swim bait hook, the ones that kind of screw in, and you can use it weighted or not weighted if you want to get some good casting distance. But when this swims, it looks just like a fish from the top. Um, I, don't, I mean, the, the fish kill it too. Even the small ones go after this because this is a pretty good sized bait as opposed to even, like here's the super fluke. It's a good size bigger, right? The Gambler Big Easy, it has that, that signature garlic smell that, that fish love. I'm unsure why, but they do love it. And this is a good bait for uh, definitely worth trying for getting in like even on like say you get like mats just mats galore right this is still going to swim in that small bout of water in between where the mats are and the water and whatnot and it's still going to swim and the bass are still going to hit it they'll come right up through that stuff and nail this thing over and over uh swim bait hooks for those if you can uh, i mean you you can use a regular um ewg hook but i find that the swim bait hooks are better all right uh, second to last, this is made by Kai Tech, and it's called the Shiner. It's a three-inch Shiner. You can rig it with a small hook. Um, I like to use these for trailers, for chatter baits. I think they're ideal for that. Um, but you can even if if the fish are really finicky, uh, you can put this on light tackle, and you can really just squirrel it through thick cover, or uh, even even brush piles, or even rocks and stuff like that and um, you can get some good hookups. It's almost like the, um, like the finesse fishing of a paddle tail. You know, you, you can really just move it slow, and I find that it's good in cold water too. Good in cold water. And it comes in a variety of colors. This is a gold one. It's got like a gray with silver, a black and blue. Black and blue is my favorite. I like those. And last but not least, we have the Berkeley Grass Pig. I got a couple of colors in this one here too. Oh, can't get them out here. The Berkeley Grass Pig. My favorite is the Pearl right here. And it's a very, very soft, flimsy body compared to some other paddle tails that are out there. Even this, so this is a soft body, but it's kind of rigid. This has a very, very soft body to it. And it doesn't swim like I, I find that it doesn't swim good like a paddle tail. Like a paddle tail, does, they've got that great motion to them and whatnot. I rig these similar to, I rig this, this frog, that sort of Texas rig kind of uh, look, and I throw it like a Sanko. I'll throw it, say this, I, I like to throw the, it's called the grass pig, but I like to throw it in grass. There's another color here. So if you got grass that is, um, you know, like, say you got like an island of um, low ground or whatnot, and there's grass all the way around, right? You can throw this right into that grass. No weight, 
no weight, and I just sort of let it fall, and I'll, I'll work it just like a Senko, just easy up and down, easy up and down. And um, the Berkeley Grass Pig. I can recap if you want. We got the Huddleston Minnow, definitely worth trying. We got the Stanley Ribbit Frog, definitely worth trying. We have the Salty Super Fluke by Zoom, definitely worth trying. We have the Gambler, Big Easy, definitely worth trying. We have the Kai Tech 3 inch Shiner, definitely worth trying. And last but not least, the Berkeley Grass Pig. All favorites of mine, all used in kind of the same area. It's kind of, I, sometimes I go with color or how slow I want to move it, but for the most part, they're all pretty slow moving, except for the um, Stanley Ribbit here. You need a good cadence to keep that up on the water. All right? That's all I got for you. Be well. Sub the channel. I'll talk to you later.